In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to generate ultra cool jewelry designs inside of Midjourney. I'm going to show you two methods. One of them is paid, one of them is free. So the free method is easy. You want to go onto Google or Pinterest or wherever and find some examples of jewelry that you like. So I'm going to just, I'm going to select this ring here. I'm going to save the image of the ring and now I'm going to come to Midjourney. What I'm going to do here is do slash describe. I'm going to click on this link that comes up. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to hit enter. Now, what this is going to do is going to describe the image that you've just put in there. It's going to give you four different examples of what this is. You can match what it is to the image by yourself. So look at them and see which one is the most accurate. I'm going to click number one just to be quick. Once you click submit, it's going to generate this image using this prompt. And then it's going to ge generate as four different pieces of jewelry similar to this. Now, the second option while this loads, which is paid, is you go to this website called Prompt Base. It looks like this. And in it, we're going to type in jewelry. Go down to mid journey here. And here, you're going to see tons and tons and tons of different types of jewelry so what we want to do here is find a piece of jewelry that you like let's say let's say that we like this bling bling custom chains this prompt here if you buy this is going to teach you how to make these prompts how to make these images using this prompt so it's going to give you all the keywords, the prompts, and it's going to give you instructions on how to customize it to your liking. So if you wanted this Bitcoin one, it would tell you how to customize it to get Bitcoin. It would tell you how to customize it to get Tesla. It would just give you all the options you need to customize it. It will just give you a prompt. You can put it into mid journey, the same as normal, and you will be able to generate images like this. Now, if I go back, and boom, here you can see the images that it's generated me based upon this image here. It's got all of these ones. Now, what you can do here is you can click and you can copy this and then you can add extra keywords into it. So if you wanted, if you wanted it to be a necklace, if you wanted the, the gem to be blue, you could customize all that. Now, once you're ready, you can upscale one of the images that you like the most. You can regenerate all of them again to get better ones or you can create variations of the different ones here. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.